In this video, we're gonna talk about the 24 millimeter 1.8 Prime that was just announced by Canon for the RF system. So I have had the RF 24 millimeter pre-ordered since it was announced a few months ago posted the unboxing on TikTok as well as on this channel. Now my first impressions of this lens, as I mentioned in my recent video, is that it reminds me a lot more in terms of size and weight to the 35 millimeter RF than it does to the 16 millimeter here, which might be used in similar situations. So yeah, as I mentioned in my recent video, I do like the focal length of 24 a little bit better than 16. As you can see here, kind of on the edge of the screen, it's a little bit distorted, especially when I start to kind of reach into those areas. On the 24 millimeter, it looks a little bit more natural, but still quite wide. Of course, it depends on the environment. For real estate, I could see 16 still being worthwhile. Um, really depends on what you're shooting. The one comment that I had on this, and, and I don't know, I, this was really just like a, a run and gun kind of shoot these photos just to kind of test this out. I did see some vignetting um, in the corners, which you can see in the raws. Not a huge deal, which I was able to correct, as you can see in the edited images, um, but something to, to keep in mind. Again, don't think it's a huge deal, especially at this price point. And you can see that there's a nice uh, bokeh created. There's also, you know, the ability to do macro with this. So you can get some really interesting images. So I do still think it's worth it for that reason. I also think this is great for anyone doing videos like this. I'll definitely, if I wasn't trying to have this in the, in the video, I would be shooting with it um, just to get a wide shot, but you know, still kind of have um, the whole scene. Now I will be doing a couple more videos comparing this to the 16 millimeter. Also comparing it to the 35, I've seen some comments on some of my content that people are trying to choose between the 35 and the 24. I still really love the 35 for a walk around kind of street photography lens. I think these all have different use cases. I also recently got this bad boy, which is uh, the Canon RF F4 70 to 200. Loving this thing so far as well. I was really concerned about the F4, uh, thinking I wouldn't get enough bokeh, but I definitely did. So you will, I'll be doing a video on that and you can see all my image samples there as well. So like I said, be sure to subscribe for more videos. I will definitely have a full review of this 24 once I've used it a little bit more. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon.